Welcome to the Lord's Challenge with Joshua Daniel. The Layman's Evangelical Fellowship International is a ministry reaching people from all walks of life since 1935. After a life-changing encounter with Jesus Christ at the age of 16, Joshua Daniel has been declaring the marvelous deliverance from sin, which is freely given to all those who turn to the loving Savior. From small villages to large cities, in many parts of the globe, through revival meetings, literature, radio, internet, and television, Joshua Daniel has been tirelessly laboring, trusting God to supply all that is needed. Wherever this message has gone out, broken relationships have been restored, sickness healed, ill-gotten money returned, and thieves turned into givers. We now invite you to watch and receive the invaluable blessing that God has for you. Let us turn to John 8, chapter. From 23. He said unto them, You are from beneath, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. <clears throat> For if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus saith unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. So here is a question which our Lord is asked. Who are you? And we see him answer that question in the same chapter, the 18th verse. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father who sent me beareth witness of me. So, I am from my Father. I am not of this world. Now these people were expecting the Messiah to come. And when the Lord Jesus came, they could not recognize him. And they were asking him, who are you? In the 12th verse, the Lord Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So, I am the light of the world. So, nothing secret before this light. I am the light of the world. You see, when we hear of some of these things, that have been such scandalous things that have taken place in churches. Now, what does that imply? What does it mean? It only means the preacher himself does not believe what he is preaching. <laughs> you know, when I started preaching, I can't remember in which place, somewhere in Pennsylvania, I suppose, uh, the people said, hey, this fellow preaches as though he really believes what he preaches. Can you imagine such a comment?
how sad. And especially when we live in the midst of such an atmosphere, how important it is that our lives should be transparent, clean, nothing questionable. I walk before the Son of Righteousness. I am a child of light. Now, if tonight the Lord would speak to all the tax cheats and everybody takes his checkbook and sends off to the treasury. I owe Uncle Sam 2,000, 2 million, 200,000. And, and tomorrow morning, you know, I don't know if there is any mail these days which reaches in one day, They call it snail mail these days. And so, if the snail should reach the treasury by tomorrow, well, you can imagine what a sensation, what a boost the nation will get. All the boosts that the nation gets is economic boosts. The moral boost, the revival boost in other realms has almost vanished. We have thrown it out of the window. And all that we are looking for is an economic revival. The economy must be revived. That's all that people are looking for. Now, how is the economy to be revived and its stability maintained? You simply can't do it without the word of God. You cannot do it. The bigger the boost the economy receives, the bigger get the thieves and the tax cheats. And so, if you think you can revive America by the economy alone, you're just a shallow thinker. Your, your thought processes are badly flawed. You don't know what you're talking about. You cannot do without thou shalt not steal. You know, actually we ought to have this in every little family and children's room. Thou shalt not steal. I do not know where the people are getting this stealing habit. Maybe in their own families. You know, they see their fathers and mothers arguing about money. And they're surely going to think money is the most important thing in the world, 